Good day, I'm Brian Farrell, and welcome to Pace IT's session on a summary of authentication services. Today we're going to be discussing the function and purpose of authentication services, and then we will conclude with a brief discussion on some authentication services. There is a fair amount of information to cover, so let's go ahead and dive into this session. Of course, I'm going to begin by discussing the function and purpose of authentication services. A best practice in network security is to require authorization when access is desired, either to the network or resources on the network. Authentication services are basically the first step in the authorization process. Authentication services require requesters to prove that they are who they say they are by the submission of some type of credentials, as in username and password. The authentication service then examines the credentials against a database of valid credentials. The database contains information on which credentials the authentication service will accept. If accepted, one of two things occur. Either the authorization is granted or the authentication service passes the approved credentials on to an authorization service. With that covered, let's move on to authentication services. Authentication services may be part of a AAA protocol. AAA stands for authentication, authorization, and accounting. AAA protocols will validate the credentials of the requester, that's authentication. They will then grant access to resources, that's authorization, and then log the requester's activity, as in what they do, that's the accounting service. All of these separate functions can be combined into a single protocol. In other cases, the individual services are actually separated. In this situation, the services will be set up in a manner in which they will pass information back and forth in order to form a holistic, secure environment. Now let's move on to some specific authentication services. First up is RADIUS, Remote Authentication Dial-In User Service. That's RADIUS. It's a remote access service that is used to authenticate remote users and grant them access to authorized network resources. It is a popular AAA protocol used to help ensure that only authenticated end users are using the network resources they are authorized to use. RADIUS has very strong and robust accounting features, but only the requesters, that's the end users, password is encrypted. Everything else that flows through RADIUS is sent in clear text. Then there's TACAX Plus. That's Terminal Access Controller Access Control System Plus. That is a mouthful. That's why we say TACAX Plus. It's a remote access service that is used to authenticate remote devices and grant them access to authorized network resources. It is a popular AAA protocol used to help ensure that only authenticated remote network devices are using the network resources they are authorized to use. The accounting features are not as robust as those found in RADIUS, but with TACAX Plus, all transmissions between devices are encrypted. In most cases, RADIUS is a AAA protocol used for users while TACAX Plus is a AAA protocol used with devices. Then there's Kerberos. It's an authentication protocol which uses TCP or UDP on port 88. It's a system of authentication and authorization that works well in environments that have lots of clients. There are several different components to Kerberos. The Key Distribution Center, or KDC, is the main component. The KDC has two parts, the Authentication Server, or AS, and the Ticket Granting Service, or TGS. When a user logs in, a hash of his or her username and password is sent to the Authentication Server. If the AS likes the hash, it responds with a Ticket Granting Ticket, TGT, and a timestamp. 
the client then sends the TGT with the timestamp to the ticket granting service. The TGS responds with a service ticket. This service ticket can also be called an access token or sometimes it's known as just a token. The service ticket authorizes the user to access specific resources. As long as the ticket granting ticket is still valid, the TGS will grant authorization by issuing a new service ticket. Lightweight Directory Access Protocol, or LDAP, is another popular authentication service. It's a directory service protocol that can be used to authenticate clients. LDAP requests are sent over TC port 389. Applications that are LDAP compliant will validate or authenticate the client and then retrieve the requested information that is stored in the directory. There's another version of LDAP out there that's called Secure LDAP. It's an encrypted version of LDAP using Secure Socket Layer, or SSL, over TCP port 636. All communication between the client and LDAP is encrypted and is secure. And finally, there is SAML, Secure Assertion Markup Language. It's an XML, or Extensible Markup Language, standard that is used to allow systems to exchange authentication and authorization information. Now that concludes this session on a summary of authentication services. We began by talking about the function and purpose of authentication services, and then we concluded with a brief discussion on some specific authentication services. On behalf of Pace IT, thank you for watching this session, and I hope to do another one soon.